This is an easy guide on how to install mods for Monster Hunter Wilds. We'll be going step by step on how to install the requirements, navigating the mod manager we'll be using, and even how to install the mods themselves. So if you're ready to enhance your Monster Hunter experience, let's get started. We'll first need to go to a website called Nexus Mods. You'll need to create a free account first, but after you've done that, all of the mods on this website are absolutely free. We'll first be downloading a mod called RE Framework. This is a tool that allows other mods to utilize it, and it also comes with the ability to use reshade free cam, change up the FOV, and even enable ultra wide mode. So in order to download this, we'll go ahead and click on this files tab. And then under RE framework, we'll go ahead and hit manual download. We'll also be downloading fluffy mod manager. This is the UI we're going to be using in order to install mods. And this tool makes it extremely easy to enable or disable mods at will. So again, we'll go ahead and go into this files tab. And then under fluffy mod manager, we'll go ahead and click that manual download. Now we're going to need to find our game root directory. So we're going to go ahead and open up Steam. And then on Monster Hunter Wilds, we're going to go ahead and right click the game, go down to manage, and then hit browse local files. This will open up a Windows Explorer page. And in this new folder, you should see your Monster Hunter Wilds.exe. Now you don't necessarily need to see that .exe, that's just the file extension name. But if you do want to enable that, you just need to go up to these three little dots, go down to options, and then in this new window that pops up, go over to view, and then if you scroll down a bit, you'll find an option that says hide extensions for known file types. Make sure this is unchecked, because if you do have it checked, you'll no longer be able to see that .exe, as well as various other file type names. It just makes things a lot easier because you know exactly what file you're handling. Now that we find our game root directory, we'll go ahead and open up a new window and then navigate to our downloads folder because this is the default location to where our mods were downloaded to. Now, in order to access the contents of these mods, you're going to need a program such as WinRAR or 7-Zip, both of which are free to download. And if you need help with how to unzip files, I'll leave my guide down below in the description. So from here, we're going to open up the RE framework zip file, and then we're going to take this DLL file and drag this directly inside of our game directory. Once you've done this, we can go ahead and exit out of the zip file. And then for the fluffy mod manager, we're going to need to extract these files so that it's in its own folder. And then once you have your extracted folder, we're going to simply take this and drag it inside of our game directory as well. Once you've done this, we're going to go ahead and click inside of the folder. And then we're going to double click on this modmanager.exe. You may see a Windows protected your PC prompt. All you need to do is hit more info and then run anyway. Once you've done this, your mod manager will pop up. So we'll need to select Monster Hunter Wilds from the game selection screen. And you may receive a prompt like this to where the mod manager was unable to find your exe file. This is a simple fix. If we head on over to the right side, we'll select this options tab and then we'll hit define game install path. We'll go down to choose the game's executable. And then from here, we'll navigate to that same game folder and then make sure we highlight that .exe file Monster Hunter Wilds. Once this is selected, you'll go ahead and press open. And then you'll see that the mod manager is now connected. Once you've accomplished this, we can actually start installing mods. We'll be using this kitty big for an example. So again, it's the same procedure to download the actual mod. We'll go ahead and click this manual download. And then from here, it's super simple. On the mod pages itself, it should tell you if you need to install this using Fluffy Mod Manager. And if that's the case, all you need to do is drag this zip file directly inside of that mod manager. Also, make sure you hit this mod list button and inside of the mod list page, you'll see that new mod you just dragged in. From here, you just need to toggle it on and you'll see at the bottom that the mod was installed. So now when we load up the game, we'll see that the mod is installed correctly because we see our big furry feline friend. You'll also notice that we have this new RE framework menu pop up. This is from that first mod we installed. This comes with a whole bunch of different features, but for starters, let's open up this loose file loader. We'll make sure this is enabled because certain mods require you to have this checked off. Next, if we go into the camera settings, you're able to toggle on and off a few different features. So you can disable the vignette. If you hit this box, you can customize the global FOV. So you can make it as wide as you want, or you can make it as narrow as you want. If we now go into the graphics tab, there are some ultra wide fixes. So if you have an ultra wide monitor and you have those annoying gray bars at the bottom and the top of the screen, you can enable these settings to let the game fill out those areas. We also have a free cam section 
that allows you to play around with the free cam. And then moving on to the bottom, if we open up script runner, this is where you can see some of your mods that you've installed. And you can simply enable or disable them by clicking on these check boxes. You also have the script generated UI. So if we click on this menu, you'll see some additional mods as well. And if you enable the drop down, some of them even have options you can change. So you'll have to play around with that. To close this menu though, you just need to simply press the exit button. And if you ever want to reopen that menu, you just need to press the insert key. Anything you change in this will save automatically, so you won't need to adjust this every time you boot up the game, which definitely comes in handy. Now a majority of the mods use the mod manager, but there's a few that you need to install manually. For example, this better camps mod. If we go ahead and open up the requirements, of course we're going to need to download this mod, and then it says RE framework as well. Going down we'll see the install instructions and it's basically telling us we're going to be installing this inside of that RE framework folder. So we'll go ahead and install this catlib mod and then if we open up the better camp mod we'll click inside of this first folder and then here you should see a RE framework folder. If you look inside of your game root directory you'll see that same folder. So all you need to do is take this folder and drag it inside of the game directory. And if you want to make sure you install this correctly, you just need to click inside of the folder until you see the last page. And then inside of your game root directory, just follow that same folder path. So we have the better camp Lua installed. And then if we go back to the zip file, we'll see that we have that same mod. So we've installed it correctly. Hopefully you found this how to install mods easy guide helpful for your Monster Hunter Wilds modding journey. There may not be a wide selection of mods at the moment, but give it a few weeks and we'll have some must haves. So if you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest mods for Monster Hunter Wilds, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Until next time though, we'll see ya.